For the pretty part of this tutorial, I am starting off with my foundation. I am using CoverGirl's Clean Matte in the shade Ivory. For the concealer, I am going to use NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer in the shade Chantilly. I'm using this underneath in my eyes and covering up any kind of redness or acne. Then I'm going in and setting everything I just did with the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Going in with the lightest blonde shade from the BH Cosmetics Ultimate Brow Palette, I'm just kind of lightly filling in my eyebrows. From the same palette, I am using the shade that is one shade darker than the blonde for my eyeshadow, and then I am going to just very lightly line my eyes. There was no wing, there was no crazy amount of anything, just very light, very simple. For my blush, I'm going in with MAC's Pink Swoon. I don't even know if they still make this shade anymore, but it's honestly my favorite pink blush and I've hit pan and I love it. Then I'm going in with Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara just to amp them and prep them for lashes. I'm using Ardell's Wispies for my lashes. These are very simple, natural, and pretty and that's what I was going for with this look. And finally, for lipstick, I am using Too Faced's Melted Liquid Lipstick in Melted Marshmallow. For the fake blood, I started off using some red gel food coloring that I got from Walmart, put a little in this dish and microwaved it in 5 second intervals until I got this nice kind of runny consistency, and then I dumped in at least two bottles of corn syrup. I apologize, we only had a red bucket, but it, that doesn't matter. So dump in two things of corn syrup. This is by Caro Caro, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. And then we couldn't see what the color looked like, so we just started mixing it in the dish. And then just kind of check the consistency and the color, and go ahead and dump it all in and start mixing it all together. I realized very quickly that the red was being very diluted and looking too pink, so I just ended up melting the entire thing of gel and mixing it all in with the corn syrup. Then I'm going in with some Nestle Toll House cocoa powder in this sifter, and I am using that so I don't get too many clumps in there, and this is going to help to add a little darkness to the blood and also give it a different kind of texture. I wanted to deepen the tone a little bit more, so I dropped in a couple drops of blue food coloring. There's no real rhyme or reason. Um, there's so many different recipes for fake blood. I just took what I had and worked with it until I got the consistency and color that I liked.
that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe and I'll check you in my next video. Bye guys. Yeah, but it's starting to dry, so it's real sticky. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's I know, cold. and it's just going to start getting colder. The temperature is just going down, yeah. Anybody want a pink dress? <laughs>